Hi, Taurus. Welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So what happens to the sign of Taurus? Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? Let's get into this reading, Taurus, and see what's going on with you guys. Overall energy for the sign of Taurus, please and thank you. Overall energy for the sign of Taurus. We have the Tower card. So we have a sudden shift that's happening. And it's all to make something, uh, the truth come to light. Recognizing some truth in the situation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Challenges for the sign of Taurus. Knight of Wands. Doing what you want to do. Doing what, enjoy, that excite, doing what excites you. All right? Taking a risk. The higher fan here at the bottom of the deck. So you're being called to take a risk to make something happen. That's why the tower tower yeah, the tower happened because you were probably so fixed in a certain way of doing things or whatever it was going on. It had to happen for you to actually take this leap of faith to do something. So now, right now, the challenge is for you to actually make that move. Okay. So um what the heart space for the sign of Taurus, please. What's going on in the heart heart space? King of Swords. My way to highway type of person, authority energy. Hermit card at the bottom of the deck. Um, Virgo energy. Going with the prayer meditation. So you feel like you know it's right. You may be you may be receiving offers. Someone's trying to give you help or something like that. I feel like you're not accepting. It doesn't need to go within prayer and meditation about accepting help or um, being open to receiving or something. This King of Swords is giving me this super detached energy. Any blockages to love and success for Taurus, to true love and success. For, um, four of Wands. Four of Wands. This is the blockage. Let me tell you why. Because you're in one. You're in a four of wands energy. A four of wands situation. In a relationship that you're, you throw or think that it's supposed to be. End all be all energy. It's your soulmate. This is your twin flame. Whatever the heck it is. It's toxic. It's low vibrational. It's obsessive. It's not built on a stable foundation. That's why I shifted. That's why something came crumbling down. It had to go. It had to go. This is harsh for someone. Someone doesn't like this. What I have to say. It how it is. This is how I'm seeing it. You've been offered some BS. What needs Taurus attention right now? What needs Taurus's attention in this moment? I just need one or two. What needs Taurus's attention in this moment? Loving yourself. Loving yourself. Loving yourself. Seeing seeing your ships come in. Visualizing what you want. The Queen of Swords, see, Queen of Wands is out like this. So it's almost as if you. That's also promiscuous behavior with it coming out like that. So you probably really need to work on that. Some of you guys maybe need to work on controlling oneself. Um, some of you guys, yep, options, options, toxic options. Um, some of you guys need to. This, there's an energy of you feeling worthless. So it's time to bring up your confidence, pamper yourself, take care of yourself. Uh, read affirmations or whatever. Um, do some med meditation and prayer and stuff like that. There's some, yeah, it's time to create a vision board. Uh, how is towards being seen in this moment? So we, we have the sun card and the eight of cups. The sun card and the eight of cups. Are you walking away from happiness? Are you walking away from your peace? Are you walking away from a Leo? Receiving some truths here. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> How you're being seen. In order for you to be happy, it's time for you to walk away. Maybe. That's probably what that is. That's how others see you, maybe. We're getting we're getting a clarify on it. What's the advice for Taurus? 
What's the advice? See, yeah, it's time to get away. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Six of Swords. Get away from that conflicting situation. It's abusive. I'm hearing abusive. Emotionally abusive, physically abusive. I don't know what it is, but it's abusive. I don't like it. Temperance. Uh, be patient with yourself. Balance between the masculine and the feminine energy. Loving yourself first. Most likely outcome for Swords if they follow the advice. Don't give up. Nine of Wands. You're tired. You're exhausted, but don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on love, true love. Don't give up on true love. We have the king and the queen of cups here. Knight of swords underneath that. Clarify the tower. Queen of swords. Cutting words. Cut of cutting words. Cutting words. Um, something was said. Something was said. It caused the tower moment. Queen of pentacles. There you are. Ten of pentacles underneath that. Abundance, wealth, success. And decisiveness after that, though. You're protected. You are protected. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Ten of Wands. Burdened. Burdened. Carrying a lot of weight. You feel like it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of energy in order to uh, take this risk. But guess what? It's, it's, about, it's going to bring some fortunate changes. It's... Is capable of doing it. God is capable of doing it. You have to be willing to take that leap of faith. You have to be willing to take that risk. You have to be willing to put that work in. Okay? Clarify the King of Swords. The Four of Swords. Going within prayer and meditation. This is the matters of the heart, correct? Someone's in hard on themselves. Someone, I'm, I heard, think about what I've done. I need to think about what I've done or something. Like, why are you being hard on yourself? This, that's the abuse of energy I'm talking about because I feel like someone has been in a relationship or in a situation where they were always being blamed for a situation, being blamed for something. Hell, yeah, I don't like it. The other person could have been 100% wrong, but yet you were taking blame for it. Mm-mm. Feeling left out in the cold here with the five of pentacles. Some of you guys are feeling like thinking about quitting a job, quitting where you work, where you work at. Clarify the four of wands as the blockage, the strength card. Trying to hold on to this four of wands energy to this relationship. Probably to this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Time to bring it to a close. Clarify the queen of wands and three of wands. The King of Cups controlling your emotions and allowing something to change. Fortunate events. Cycling out. Cycling in, I should say. But yeah, there's a need to control your emotion and emotions and being becoming emotionally mature. Clarify the Sun card and the Eight of Cups. He has a combination. Seven of Cups. Walking away from people, place things that do not serve you. Those options. Those options may have been given to two. I don't know. There's a need for equal give and take and loving oneself first. Clarify the six of swords, the six of wands, being seen, being noticed, being recognized. Moving on to dating. Some of you guys may be worried about dating, but it's time to get away. It's time to, to, to have some fun in the sun. Go out and enjoy yourself. Release yourself from some type of shackles. You worried about it. I see you worried about it. I don't know what you worried about. But it's time to end that painful cycle. Move on. Clarify this nine of wands. You are being controlled. I don't, and I'm, it's going to be, sound harsh. Some of you guys allow yourself to be controlled. You are being controlled. The emperor is here. This is your energy and Libra energy. Nine of wands, divine feminine energy. Not giving up on your divine femininity. Okay? Not giving up on um, being your... Being open to receiving an a, a empress in your life. Being open to your feminine energy. Being um, open to new beginnings. And birthing brand new beginnings, okay? Don't give up on yourself. Eight of Wands, things will move forward. Things will progress here. Clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card. We have the Six of Pentacles. The equal give and take energy. The need for equal give and take. King of Pentacles. Here, here you are. Blockage. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I feel like this is? Turning your back on this Six of Pentacles energy and equal give and take. Something that you truly deserve because you're holding on to this Four of Wands energy. Clarify the Empress. The Magician. Probably the, I'm getting someone probably uh, probably in this relationship because of needing a place to stay or something like that. We have the Magician card and the Two of Cups. Manifest, manifesting the true soulmate connection. Don't give up on that because it's still possible. Chariot, as long as you continue to move forward. Cl clarify the magician. We have the nine of pentacles. Look, manifesting your independence, self-worth, self-sufficient energy, and you moving forward and progressing. I love it. I'm leaving it here, Taurus. Let's get a message from the Starseed Oracle deck. What message do you have for the sign of Taurus, please? Make it clear. What message do you have for the sign of Taurus? What message do you have for the sign of Taurus? So whatever this is, um, I feel like people seeing you as if you just walk away from this sudden situation is going to make you so much happier. You're going to be so much happier. But that tower moment is happening for a reason, okay? Let that itch fall. What message do you have for the sign of Taurus? Just give me one, please, and make it clear and make it accurate. What message do you have for the sign of Taurus, please? Thank you. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. All right. Bottom of the deck, it says, Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. All right, there's a mysterious force that governs all of life, an intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom and the tides and seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you too. It was there before you drew your first breath and it will be there beyond your last, well beyond your last. It's, that part, it's the part of you that informed every cell what to do when you are in your mother's womb. It's harder to resist this force than it is to surrender to it because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will. It's easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the patterns, pattern of believing that we're separate or feeling that we need to go it, go it alone. We can feel isolated and as if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. Hmm. You're being called to remember the intelligence that's within every, each and every one of your cells. To remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe. That, you're, that you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow, and qualities there ever were, are, or will be. And to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, then you do too. You, how can you surrender more deeply to the intelligent flow of your life? Taurus, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.